Bismillah Rahman Rahim dear viewers welcome back to technology of Paitala once again so now today we have to discuss nested if else how we can use it within our programs so let's move towards the simple if condition first so previous lecture of the if condition you can catch here on clicking this i button here okay now moving towards if condition first if we are talking about the flow of if while we are taking conditions within our program then we can use the if okay so if condition will be true then this statement or the multiple statements will be executed if this condition is not true then this statement is not be executed and directly executes the other programs portion if we talk about the if and else it means we can say that if there is condition is true okay if condition is true then moving towards this statement or the multiple statements here if the condition is false then we can say that moving towards another side then this means we can manage the else portion as well if the condition is false then we have to display something or we have to run some statement or the multiple statements here after that the execution of the other programs portion and now if we talk about the nested if else it means if condition within another if conditions simply so if we talk about the flow of it let's talk about the if condition if the condition is true then the execution will be here and here is another if condition okay if there is another if condition then if this condition will be true then moving towards this statement program executes this statement and if this condition will be false then moving towards this statement this is the flow of the nested if else now let's go through the else if also we can also use that uh, else if statements now it's just like if we have some condition okay now if the condition is true then moving towards this and uh, if the condition will be false we are in else portion and then we can have another if condition here for any other decision making so then once again if the condition is true then moving towards this and if the condition is false then moving towards another side and then this is the flow of else if as well so mainly if the flow of uh, if if else nested if else else if in your mind then we can perform decision making in our programs very easily now let's take an example of it so the required program is so we have to take uh, two values from the user okay and after that display either the first value is uh, greater or the second value is greater also display if the both are equal so it includes not a single if condition so we have to manage it with the help of some nested structure now now focus the structure of this code now we have the if else portion okay and within the if condition we have another if condition so actually this is the structure of nested if now so we have using nested if here now we can say that the program's execution is just like step by step like this suppose firstly we have a integer a and b okay we declare two variables integer type a and b and after that we have to input two values it's just like firstly you see out enter a's value okay the dis it displays enters a's value in the front of user then user inputs some value and that value will be stored in the a now suppose user enters 8 here so the 8 will be assigned to the variable a then once again c out enters b's value once again it displays on the front side of user and then user have to again input some value suppose user enters value 4 here for the variable b so the 4 will be assigned to the variable b now we have the condition if a is not equals to b if a is not equals to b the condition is true or not actually 8 is not equals to 4 condition is true now if the condition is true then we can say that there is another if condition within the if so check it out another condition if a is greater than b or not 
So once again, the condition is true now. So it displays C out the value of A is greater. So the output of this code is the value of A is greater. Now let's take the different examples uh, within the same code. Okay. Suppose if the user inputs some other values. It's just like if the user enters uh, 4 for the variable A and uh, 8 for the variable B. Check it out the conditions once again. If A is not equals to B, if 4 is not equals to 8, condition is true or not? Once again, condition is true. So, if the condition is true, we have moved towards another condition within the if. So, another if condition is here. If A is greater than B. Now, the condition is if 4 is greater than 8. That condition will be false now and we are moving towards else portion of this if and in else portion we can say that it displays the value of b is greater so this program displays the value of b is greater so actually 8 is greater than 4 yes we also know that once again we have to change some more values now once again if the user input some same values now let's see what happens Suppose if the user enters 8 for the A and user also enters 8 for the variable B. So variable A and B both having the value 8 now. Then firstly if A does not equal to B, 8 not equals to 8, this condition will be false now because 8 is equals to 8. So we are not executing the if portion right now we are moving towards the else portion because the condition is false now so in the else portion simply see out both are equal so this program displays the both are equal in this case when both having the value 8 now let's talk about another piece of code another example with the same requirement so far okay suppose we have this piece of code now now let's see once again the structure of this code we have some if and else okay in this code and within the else portion we have another if and else okay so we can use this approach as well so if we execute this program uh, so what will be the execution occur step by step let's see suppose if Firstly, we have the input uh, value A and the value B as well. So, enter the value of A, the user wants to enter something. So, suppose if the user enters 8 here. After that, suppose user enters 8 once again for the variable B. So, the both A and B having the value 8 now. Now, check it out. If condition. The first if condition. If A equals to B then this condition will be true now because 8 is equals to 8 now so if condition is true then simply we can say that both are equal so this program displays both are equal in this case when a and b having the same value that is 8 let's take different input from the user if the user input different values just like if the user enters 8 for the first value and 4 for the second value so we have a's value 8 and the b's value is 4 now now check it out what the condition says if a equals to b if 8 equals to 4 is this condition is true now no it's a false so we are not moving towards if we are moving towards the else portion so within the else portion we can have another if condition it's just like if a is now greater than b or not a greater okay check it out if a is greater than b condition here 8 is greater than 4 condition is true 8 is greater than 4 so what will be displayed here the value of a is greater so this program displays the value of a is greater when the value of a is 8 and the value of b was so these are the concepts and the practice of uh, if, if else, nested if else, okay. 
so if you are understanding it just practice it many times as many times as possible programming will be never be difficult to you okay thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe technology up by the love